Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's delete our Kubernetes cluster that we deployed using COPS. In the last three videos, we've been looking at the COPS video, COPS related video. So COPS is Kubernetes operations and we used uh, COPS to create our Kubernetes cluster in AWS. We saw how to upgrade our Kubernetes cluster to a specific version or to the latest version. And we also saw how to add or remove a node by editing the instance groups and i think that's all i wanted uh, to cover about cops so finally we will tear our environment down so whatever we've deployed using cops let's use cops to delete our cluster and verify that it has deleted all the resources that it has deployed all right so cops get cluster we have our cluster and we've got our state stored in this variable cops state store and in this s3 bucket Cops validate cluster. All right, so we still have the cluster with one master node and two worker nodes because we removed uh, the other worker node from the previous video. In the previous video, uh, right, cube CDL get nodes. We have two nodes, and in the management console, if I go to the EC2 dashboard, you can still see that we have our uh, two running instances, two key pairs four volumes, five security groups, one load balancer, and so on. Okay, so now let's delete our cluster. Cops delete cluster, minus minus name, just me, dot k, does dot local, that's the name of the cluster that we deployed, and pass minus minus yes for the confirmation. Okay, so the cluster is being deleted and uh, i think it will take a while like five minutes or so i don't think it will take 10 or 15 minutes but it should be uh completely removed in about five minutes so i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's ready all right so the command completed and our cluster has been deleted and if i do cops get cluster no clusters found cool that's good and if i go in here okay so let's refresh running instances we don't have any instances all has been terminated we don't have any volumes we don't have any load balances we have just one key pair which is my uh, default key pair and default security group if you go to running instances all of these instances uh, have been terminated and these will disappear in about an hour time so that's gone and load balances we don't have any load balancers, no auto scaling group, no launch configuration. Okay, so that's gone. If we go to VPC, now we are back to our one default VPC, three subnets, that's part of this VPC. Row table, one row table, one internet gateway, one security group, one NACL dhcp option sets okay so it has completely removed all the resources that it has deployed for us so now the last final bit that we need to do is to delete the s3 bucket that we created you can do it either from the command line or from the console here and if i go to s3 so there we go so that's our bucket and if you go into that bucket we don't have any uh, folder here so we used to have a folder uh, named after the cluster that we created so that's completely gone and now we can go ahead and delete this bucket so I think first we need to empty the bucket let's try and delete the bucket delete the bucket to confirm type the name of the bucket which is this one copy paste delete bucket and you will see that error the bucket you try to delete is not empty which i tried even from the command line it gives you the same error the bucket you try to delete is not empty you must delete all versions in the bucket so although the bucket says that it's empty if you go in here the bucket is actually empty but it's not actually empty because it's because we enabled versioning if you look at the properties we enabled versioning for this bucket so that means it still has all my previous versions of the COPS state. So first we need to empty the bucket. So go to the bucket, select the bucket, empty it. Type the name of the bucket, EMT. Successful deletion, so 274 objects. Okay, exit. And now we should be able to delete the bucket. 
control V delete the bucket bucket is gone so now we don't have any buckets cool um, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video hopefully you learned something about cops play with cops it's a nice little utility for managing for managing your Kubernetes cluster in an automated way you don't have to fiddle with Kubadium yourself but if you're learning it's always good practice to learn the hard way first uh, using Kubadium and then in the real world nobody is going to be using Kubadium the manual way to manage your cluster so they use cobs or cube spray or any other automations uh, to manage the cluster okay so if you like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.